Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Shark Week, Day 2. Now today we're going to be talking about Sharknado 2. This was put together by my good buddy, The Q's Reviews, and this has been a lot of fun so far. Now Sharknado 2, the second one, came out in 2014 and has a runtime of 95 minutes. Now, I wasn't sure if this was the extended edition, but I guess it is because it says on the back, the new extended director's version with more shark and more NATO. <laughs> All right. Now, Shark NATO 2, the second one, was directed by Anthony C. Ferrante. He was responsible for, once again, Boo, Forgotten Evil, and Zombie Tidal Wave. This once again stars Ian Ziering as Anth as uh, Finn Shepard. He was in Malibu Rescue, Zombie Tidal Wave, which I really do need to see, and Sharknado 3 through 6. This stars Tara Reid as April. She was in American Wedding, Charlie's Farm, and Urban Legend. And Vivica A. Fox as Sky. She was in Kill Bill Volume 1, Independence Day, and Batman and Robin. Now, the budget on this film is $1.5 million, and this is where it gets very, very campy, and it's basically a who's who of stars in this film. Now, in this one, I'm going to name a few each time we go along. It's Mark McGrath. Judd Hirsch, who actually drives a taxi in New York City, which is priceless. Kurt Angle and Robert Hayes, among others. <clears throat> now, this, is, of course, is the second one. After the events that happened in Sharknado, the first one, April and Finn are on the way to see... Finn's sister in New York City. And wouldn't you know it, a Sharknado appears. Now, this is a little bit different of a story because you have Mark McGrath who plays Finn's sister's husband, and they used to be best friends ever since they were little kids. And there's a little bit of resentment there because... Finn didn't want his best friend, who was kind of like a horn dog back in the days, to marry his sister. But anyway. Their ultimate goal is to save his sister and their kids and rekindle that friendship. Now, Vivica A. Fox, as Skye comes in, is she was one of Finn Shepard's old loves. And she actually didn't know that he had gotten remarried to April. Uh, once again, this is this is a lot of fun, but this is where it starts to get super campy, and while I like the first one for some reasons, I actually like the second one for completely different reasons, because it's so crazy and ridiculous. Not that the first one wasn't, but this just is over the top. All the actors are completely over the top. Like, they had one of the guys from Shark Tank in this one as well, um, the guy who designs... I think he was Sean, John, um, Close, or something like that. He was in this one, and it's just, you know, once again, a who's who of celebrities making silly cameos in a completely ridiculous movie. I had a blast with this. It's one of those movies that you just basically turn your brain off, pop some popcorn, and just sit back and laugh. It has some gore. Gore was pretty good. And the acting, while it's cheesy, is just over-the-top fun. So I definitely recommend this one. Um, and that is uh, Sharknado, the second one. Now, this is a, some kind of a French edition. And I know that the regular edition has a red bar on the top that says Director's Cut. But apparently, this is the Director's Cut. So, oh! <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention is they have Jared from Subway in here, which was priceless. <laughs> the subway truck actually makes a cameo in the third one too but I'll talk about that one uh, on another day this has been a lot of fun so far these shark movies are silly but they're so much fun 
Definitely check out the Q's reviews and stay tuned for Shark Day or Shark Week, Day 3, where I'll be discussing Sharknado 3. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.